All right, here's a question that asks to find a break-even amount on the sale of a car. And we're defining break-even as whatever sales price you have to get for the car in order to avoid having to pay the bank any additional money to get out of the loan. Okay, so um, you got this loan here. It's a four-year loan, so 48 period. You're going to sell early after payment 17. And so essentially what we're, what we're doing is we're trying to find the payoff amount of the loan after payment 17. So as long as you receive a purchase price equal to the payoff amount, you will break even with the bank. There's two steps to solving this problem. First things first, we just need to find the loan payment and then we'll find the payoff amount. So here's what the loan looks like. You know that the loan has a present value of $15,000. And uh, you're just swapping the $15,000 today for a series of payments. And so we can go directly to our financial calculator. That number is uh, PV, of course. Uh, it's going to be positive. 48 is in. I is the monthly rate. So that's 5.4% divided by 12. FV is zero since there's no additional payment at time 48 and we're solving for the payment. So my financial calculator, I'll just input these one at a time. Here's my $15,000 going into PV, zero FV, 48 N, and then 5.4 divided by 12 equals I. Okay, we can compute my payment, and there's there's so, so, so there's our starting point. The, the, the monthly payment is $348.16. $348.16. Now we need the payoff as soon as payment 17 is made. And so what we're looking for is some number, and we'll call that number X, which you would swap for the remaining annuity. And now, since this remaining annuity has 31 payments left, we're going to end up calculating the present value of a 31 payment annuity. So X here is just the present value in time 17 of a 31 payment annuity and the payment is that amount right and so we can go back into our financial calculator and fortunately um, that that payments already it's already there the interest rates already there um, so all we need to do is change the number of payments so change in to 31. So I'm going to say 31 goes into N, and then I'm going to recompute PV. And so the answer is $10,053.02. And so as long as you sell the car for more than that amount, you will not owe the bank any money to get out of the deal. That's your break even.